Well, as you can see, we are bringing you this week's show from the Southern Food and Beverage Museum right here inside the Riverwalk. And joining me now is Kristen Oaks for this week's Ag Minute. And Kristen, I know that this is one of your favorite exhibits here, and the SOFAB just kind of shows how agriculture really impacts culture in the Crescent City. It does, and this Hurricane Katrina exhibit shows exactly how the storm impacted the city and, more importantly, how people got their food, which is one of the reasons that in 2011, Saver Magazine named the museum one of the top five food exhibits in the world. And after one visit to SOFAB, you'll see why the museum is generating international buzz by showcasing much more than just food. Everybody eats. No matter who you are, where you're from, or where you're going, at some point today you're going to eat. One of the most important aspects of food in this state is that it is what glues us all together. From this basic idea, Liz Williams formed the Southern Food and Beverage Museum in 2008. Food is so much a part of our identity that really what you're doing is you're exploring identity. You're not just exploring the food. These children are learning that lesson firsthand. As part of the SOFAB summer camp program, campers learn how to prepare healthy meals with fresh ingredients. Today's menu, ratatouille. We reach a lot of children, talk about food and nutrition and heritage and tradition, all of those things all rolled into one and also give them a healthy meal. And these campers say that's the best part. We're trying to educate people and all of that and finding fun ways to do it. Because a lot of times people think museum, oh, how boring. And we're trying not to be boring. One stroll through the museum will prove that her goal is a success. So fab is anything but boring. From the first snow cone machine, the quintessential Louisiana food, to the story of gumbo, this museum offers a little something for just about everyone's taste buds. We really define this as something that celebrates the food of the South, but also the food and culture of the South. As SOFAB's popularity and mission continue to grow, so does the museum. On June 25th, Williams broke ground on a new 30,000 square foot SOFAB location in the former Dryads Market building. It's just really uh, wonderful to see something that was just a crazy idea uh, that we're kind of inventing as we go along actually turn into something that's going to be a real institution, I think. Liz Williams says construction on the new Southern Food and Beverage Museum will begin this July. She plans to open the new location in March of 2013. We're well, moving on to this week's Twilight Trivia. Last time the question was, which day of the week is the most ice cream sold? And the answer is A, Sunday. For this week's question, New Orleans is known for its own style of which coffee drink? Is it A, Cafe Latte, B, Cafe Ole, or C, Cafe Mocha? If you think you know the answer, we'll just head on over to our website. You guys know the address by now, twilighttv.org. Submit the correct answer, and we'll send you a special Twilight New Orleans gift pack. Still to come on this week in Louisiana agriculture, we'll show you all of the winners from the fun events at the 90th Annual Meeting of the Louisiana Farm Bureau. Stay with us.